Hi guys, it's your name Kate, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm getting my bike ceramic coated by Supreme Coat in Derbyshire. So if you want to know more about the customer experience and the journey, stick around and stay tuned. We love the Peak District, even if it was 3 degrees when I set off this morning, which is never ideal, but guess what, I've got my Gerbin heated jacket on, life is good. Yeah, so today I'm all booked in with Supreme Coat for a ceramic coat treatment. Now I'm on Beatrix. I've decided that's the name for the Beamer. She's a big girl. She's definitely a girl. She's a Beatrix. Or oh, Big B for short. And we're on our way to Dronfield. Now I'm pretty excited about getting my bike ceramic coated. I've seen it be done quite a few times, but Darren the CEO insists that his experience is like no one else is around so we'll put it to the test this road in summer is oh, sexy but yeah it is three degrees so we'll take it easy i'm told that the ceramic coat takes roughly six hours to do and once there Customers are welcome to tea, coffee, they've got decaf and then they have a complimentary taxi service which takes you into Chesterfield. Since you've got quite a long wait while they pamper your beloved motorcycle for six hours roughly, you can go into Chesterfield Wow, it is beautiful. And you can shop till you drop, you can eat until you pop. And then they will send a taxi to come back and get you and bring you back to the unit. Which I think is pretty good. So we'll see what this place is all about. And I'll take you guys along with me for the ride. Wow, snowy tops contrasting with the pinky blue sky, it's just gorgeous, it sets my soul on fire, oh look at that sky, she's pink, she's pink, wow, gorgeous, 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 oh I'm blessed to be witnessing this sunrise over Snake Pass. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Oh my days, it's just gone to 1.5 degrees. We've got ice warnings, the lot. Oh, shiver my timbers. This makes me feel slightly on edge. I didn't like that my traction control light was flashing like a mother trucker then. Oh, this ain't good, man. There is literally freaking sheet ice at the side of the road. It is rather scary. Cold. Right, Sarah. So we're going to appraise this mucky girl. Yeah, She's called yeah. Beatrix, by the way. She's called Beatrix. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> so we'll note that down then. 
and <laughs> um, father so we're just going to praise your bike now yeah and um, so we're looking for any sort of uh swell marks any water spots marks which obviously we've got that yeah. but i think this is from the spray over here today but the most important thing is that we've not got any sort of light scratches or deep scratches um so that when we clean off your beautiful beatrix um <laughs> you know we're not going to unveil anything and then obviously you're yeah. not sure about and we're not sure about of course obviously if we do we'll give you a call kate amazing and obviously we can just inform you and send you pictures or videos if necessary Perfect. so we're just going to start obviously the wheel area I'm just going to check round your wheel of course. and make sure there's no, no sort of damage. As we can see, while it's it's obviously got all the muck and grime on, yeah, um, which is understandable with your journey this morning. Oh, she's filthy. She is. Sheesh. It's going to be underneath that. We probably can't see Kate. Yeah. Um, but obviously, when our guys get on that, of course, you guys have got your work cut out. Yeah. Uh, it certainly won't be this colour when you pick it up. <laughs> it won't be a different colour, but it'll certainly be clean. Awesome. Um, so yeah, so any sort of damage to any areas that you know of, Kate? Um, to my knowledge, no. Okay. Let's just have a. Any sort of, because obviously we take the seat off, so obviously it comes off little, in two parts. A little thing there, maybe. a little bit of mark here. Mm. So obviously we will photograph that shortly, yeah. uh, just to make a note. So I'm going to make a note at the tank base Let's just before the seat. Let's have a look on the other side. We've got a bit of a. Mark. So I'm just going to put a cross till we've identified that that one. Is that a hell? I'm not sure if it's just a a, a, a scuff mm. from where you've actually been sat. You know, similar to why you have this area. Yeah, true. That's a hair. So that's not a scratch. Um, I think there's a few. There's like two little marks here. Just so you're aware. Can you see them? Oh yeah, I can see with the light reflection. So that is on your left hand side, around about here. And as I said, because it's quite difficult with mm. the mug, if we do reveal anything, obviously we'll take a video or picture and forward that onto and speak to you as well. Yeah. So the um, the final drives are notorious for BMWs for like bubbling around here. Yeah. And around here as well. Yeah. Um, I don't have any bubble in there, but I think I may have the slightest bit starting just on the underneath. On the underneath, slight bubbling. Yeah, P perhaps, but I don't think it's, it's yeah. bad. As I said, you'll probably know your bike more when it's clean than we do at the moment. So, yeah. wow, look at it in there. Yeah. Oh, flipping X there. <laughs> it's honking. Well, it certainly will be a lot cleaner. So, as you see, it, um, there's no issues being able to get that off that you know of. No issues. Uh, because this all of. comes off. Yeah. yeah it's full of, thorough clean. If yeah. there is any markings on it or scuffings, we can't get those out. No. But obviously, it'll have our treatment on there. My seats usually get kicked a lot anyway, so I'm not precious about them. <laughs> okay, anything on the visor, so, or any stone chips, yeah, or any sort screen. of scratches or scuffs that you're aware of? Um, no, not particularly, Lovely. but it's aftermarket, so I'm not really bothered. Well, I'm much. happy with the appraisal, and I think uh, our team also, our team of technicians go around and video it as well. Oh, um, that's cool. After I've finished, mm -hmm. uh, so obviously, you've got it on video as well, which oh, is great. Filthy. Oh yeah, so in terms of rust, there's like little bits of orange in there, so don't worry about that. Oh, right, so. okay, so rust... I'd say the hub, I think it's called the hub. Yep. Like just where the spokes yep. join. But my spokes. Is it the are... nut, nut area more than anything? Mm, I don't really Parts know what these are called, yeah. to be fair. But I would just say, like, yeah, maybe the, the nuts on the hub. Yeah. Perhaps well, I probably we'll, said that wrong. But... We'll have a look at that and obviously we can photograph that uh, when it's been cleaned out. Mm -hmm. yep. Super. Great. The only thing I'll look at is obviously your exhaust pipe gets treated. So I can see underneath. Mm -hmm. I I'm not sure if that's um, if there's anything with that. So when we cleaned it off and we start our process uh, with the polishing, we'll have a little look at this area. Awesome. And um, so I'll make some notes of the, your exhaust pipe around that area and that's identify that's... what's going off there. Wow. Taxi. Sorry. Awesome. Have See you soon, Darren. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye bye. The big one. And now the Manchester one, big ones. Mm. And this is the second one. Ah, so Manchester's overtaken this yes, one. Yes, yes, yes. Well, 
guys, I've just been dropped off at Meadow, I want to say Meadow Hall or Meadow View Hall, I'm not quite sure. And I'm just going to chill here, I've got a couple of books in my backpack and going to get some food, get a coffee, relax and then I'll get a text message from Sarah when the taxi is going to be ready to collect me and when the bike's ready. So yeah, for now, never kind of had this experience before where my bike's in for work and I get chauffeured into one of the local towns and then get to do some shopping and eating and chilling and relaxing. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So whilst I was at Meadow Hall, I decided to get a Starbucks, typical GS owner, standard procedure. And there I had some time just to sit there with my coffee, people watch, and read a good old book. Meanwhile, the lads were hard at work, back at Supreme Co, giving Beatrix a good old wash, ready to be taken indoors for the next stage of the ceramic treatment process. Well guys, my time at Meadow Hall is almost up. I've spent a day here just relaxing, drinking coffee, reading books, having a shot. And you know what, it's actually been nice just to have some downtime because it just feels like in the world of vlogging, it's relentless. So I'm just waiting on the taxi now to come and pick me up and drop me off back at Supreme Coat in Dromfield. So I think it's about 30 minutes away depending on traffic wait for the taxi now. Oh my gosh, it looks like a new bike from here. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh my days. It literally looks brand new. Gosh, you can see your reflection. <laughs> you got me in the reflection as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe you've got under air so clean. It was honking, wasn't it, Sarah? It was very thorough. Very thorough. All the professional sort of care, as well as our own branded products, just basically uh, excels and make them look absolutely better than when they come out of the dealerships. Honestly. Final drive looks brilliant. So my bike has just been ceramic coated, it is looking so good compared to how it looked when it came in. And on completion of it you get this lovely little handover pack which looks the business if you open it up. In there you have your invoice, you have your certificate of application, you also get a nice handy sticker and you also get a 10% discount loyalty card as well. So yeah, that is pretty good. Let's have a look on the back as well. If we see here, it just says a bit about you, your vehicle, your model, the reg, what treatment you had. So it was the uh, Supreme Coat ceramic and seat treatment, when it came in, when it was finished, and just why you should choose a Supreme Coat affordable pricing, UV resistant, high gloss finish. Obviously, if you have a matte a bike, they use a non-gloss variation and up to 10 years warranty, so 10 years on new bikes, 7 on used and there are some mileage restrictions on them, they're super high, uh, resistant to environmental fallout and easy to clean. Dan did mine and he did a cracking job, so yeah, all in all, super happy. 
coffee machine here which does normal coffee, decaf coffee. They have merchandise. They also have some pretty cool socks, which I've got my eye on them. And then they've just got their products on display. Well, great meeting you. Are you going to be at ABR Festival? Yeah. Touch and go. I might go to uh, Richie's uh, Wild oh, Wild Bag Weekender. Weekender. I'm off that, that weekend. Yeah, I'll have a look at that and see if I can go. Because yeah. it always looks a good do. Yeah. All right. I'll try my best. See you later, guys. Oh, push. Oh, push. <laughs> Sorry. Later. See you later, chick. Bye. That was a proper pleasant trip to Supreme Coat. Now guys, I'm transparent with you as always. The guys there kindly provided the treatment for me for free. Um, but this isn't a hard sell or anything like that. It's literally just to kind of go through my experience of how the day went and what to expect as a customer. So how it works is you would get in touch with Sarah at the shop over the phone or you could book online, that's an option. Now the treatment costs £350 and you can either pay it one off or you can do a few payments via Klarna or, and or PayPal. And the guys have said that from the release of this video, if you use the code username Kate, you get a whopping £100 off, which is a strong discount given the amount of time, you know, Daniel and John spend on your bike working away. Now that's not an affiliate link. Like I don't sort of make anything off you using that code. I just want to get you guys a benefit. So when you first walk in, you're greeted, you get a complimentary tea or coffee or decaffeinated tea or decaffeinated coffee because they appreciate that not everybody wants to be caffeined out of their eyeballs. And then from there, you will sign like a little form, all the general things that you do when you purchase a product or a service, you know, you tick your data protection boxes and all that jazz. So then somebody will go outside with you and they will appraise your bike. They will just make note of any scratches, light scratches, big scratches, swirls. Um, there's quite a comprehensive list, as hopefully you can see in this video. As hopefully you saw in the video earlier on. And that way you guys, you're all on the same page. You're aware of existing marks and it just protects you as a customer and it protects them you know from any accusations of any marks and stuff like that which makes perfect sense then your bike will be taken away to be washed it's washed outside and it's a seven step process and steps one and two are done outside and then the rest is done inside so once you've had your tea, your coffee, your hot chocolate, whatever it may be, at that point a taxi will be called for you, complimentary service, and you'll be taken to Chesterfield. Now I did a bit of research on Chesterfield and there looks to be a really nice pub called The Bottle and Time or something like that, but they're closed on Mondays. so. Instead, I asked to go to Meadow Hill Shopping Centre, which is all inside, which is great on a day like this. Now, they can take you there, but as part of their 
service they can only take you there you would have to pay for the taxi back they can arrange it but you'd have to pay for it because it's quite a longer journey than it is to get to Chesterfield and back so that makes sense and I think that's fair then you can spend some time catching up on work you can read a book you can go for a coffee you can have a day out with your mates if you all go along and what you spend your time doing there is just completely up to you and I just really wanted to actually experience it from a customer perspective to see what you get if that makes sense oh look at this road gorgeous maybe not so much in the temperatures that we're working with today what is it saying 2.5 eesh but when your bike is spandangly and looking beautiful then they'll ring you and arrange the taxi back you'll be told the registration they track the taxi which is actually quite i know it won't really you know impact most of you dudes out there but as a girl i mean you know trafficking exists and all that jazz it's kind of nice to have that monitored so if you take a dodgy turn somewhere not that the taxis have trafficking reputations let me just clarify that <laughs> but yeah i think it's just nice from a peace of mind perspective i went the wrong way so probably screwed myself up with traffic but it was worth it for this beautiful sunset oh so i've had the sunrise this morning and i've had the sunset and it is glorious one of the things that i find really impressive is how much time is spent on one bike you can tell that the lads there are proud of the work and what they do it really is like a passion for them but one of the things that i found quite special like i say is the time spent now this is probably going to be a little bit controversial and i don't mean to be controversial but sometimes with dealerships when they offer you a ceramic coat yeah the ceramic coat is a product and a, a lot of people can get it but really the success of the product is down to the application the preparation and the planning and speaking with darren it became very apparent that his whole ethos is about reframing ceramic coating in the whole process so i've worked in dealerships in the past and i'm not naming names and it's probably not going to be like the ones that you're thinking i'm talking about so you know i'm just gonna keep it very vague but sometimes they the dealerships have the best intentions in the world to put the ceramic coat on but they just don't have the time they have so many time pressures sometimes the valeters can't do it because they're tied up out in the van dropping off something that a salesman promised a customer that they could have a bite yesterday and it just domino effects and causes problems all throughout and sometimes with all the will in the world the application process just isn't as you'd want it to be in my opinion which was why i was probably never very good at selling ceramic now for my own integrity i know that i fought very hard to get ceramics done right but the sad reality is and i'm sorry to say it and i'm sorry to throw that stone and make that splash in the pond but from my experience personally i don't think the ceramic coats are, are given the care that they need or have the people applying them with the skills that they need to do the best job possible that's the truth that's the dirty little truth that nobody wants to hear and again don't get me wrong this doesn't apply to all dealerships i'm not tarring everybody with the same brush but it's just an observation look at this sky oh because my bike's an older bike and it's done 17,000 miles 
it's got a seven year warranty for the ceramic coating or 70,000 miles limited to 10,000 10, miles a year if you go to them with a brand new bike like fresh out the showroom and you get a ceramic coat the ceramic coat will then be warranted for 10 years or a hundred thousand miles so even though it's been a long day for me it's been bloody brilliant one i got to see a banging sunrise two i didn't have to do anything to my honking bike <laughs> i was just so lazy and just let somebody else do it for me i got to go out and have a bit of downtime just shop relax browse i even bought myself a book from waterstones so i guess guys the proof will be in the pudding the proof will be in the pudding as to how this holds up so i'll be doing videos where i clean the bike and you know over time we can check it and we can see but one of the things that i wanted to do in this video was encourage you if you have had your bike ceramic coated by supreme coat positive or negative because we don't hide anything on this channel and that's not how we roll let me know your experience i want to hear about it because it's all well and good me talking about my experience but you obviously all know that i am a youtuber and getting this kind of content this is my job so you know i understand a little bit of skepticism i'm not naive i understand how it works so that's why i just want to encourage anybody that's had a supreme coat just to share your experience in the comments it'll be good to read them also guys if you have any questions please let me know but if there's something that you want to know let me know i'm not an expert but i can certainly ask the questions to the right people wow look at these cliffs amazing Well guys, I hope you can still see me because it's getting pretty flipping dark. I mean, the sky's still got some pink hues to it over there, which just look divine. I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Just taking you through my day, treating Beatrix, giving her some good old pampering that is long overdue. I think next we need to get her serviced because she needs servicing and until the next time guys please take care please ride safe look after each other and all that jazz subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one take care